We've gone over now how to do all sorts of content creation inside of Google Gemini. Now let's take a look at how we can utilize the Google Gemini chat pane to ask questions about our document as well as ask questions about how to do things specifically inside of Google Docs. I'm going to start back in my drive and I'm going to open up this common mistakes blog post for starters. So this is a fully formed document and you'll notice how Google Gemini opens up automatically. However, if it doesn't do that, you can always find the Gemini chat pane up at the top here under Ask Gemini, right next to your name icon in the top right. Now for the first part of this document, I'm going to ask it, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show you what we can do. So at the top, we can ask it to rephrase, refine, we can also see more suggestions, we can do all sorts of different things, kind of how we talked about earlier with the creating of, of the creating of content. Something else I can do is I actually can ask Gemini questions about my doc. So for this, this is a common mistakes blog post, so I actually can put in here, what are the top five common mistakes? So I can put in that question, give it a second, it's gonna scan the document. And now it's gonna jump in and it's gonna tell me you know, the top five mistakes and then it kind of goes in and gives us a brief little summary based on the question that I asked, which is awesome. And then it'll show more suggested prompts based off of that. So now we have which mistake is most likely to lead learners to forgetting the information they were taught. So I'll just click that for fun and see what happens. And again, Gemini is pulling this based off of the question we asked and the document that we are using. And now it gives us this, tells us the source, so common mistakes blog post. And now if I wanted to, I also can select this little icon here, which says that we can retry with Google search. So now it's gonna search the web and can give us responses also that way. So here we go, now there's more information. And again, if I was working on this document, if I was making edits to this blog post, it's helpful that I actually am able to search the web and be able to access that information as well. So it can kind of help us you know, fully round out our research. Now something else that we can ask Google Gemini as well is we can ask Google Gemini how to do specific things. So if I wanted to ask, uh, let's ask Google Gemini, how do I add a heading? Add a heading style to my doc. So I also can now ask it a question. Give it a second. And now it's going to give me those instructions. So not only can it answer questions for me about my document, but it also can give me answers to questions that I might have about how to use Google Docs. Sometimes uh, you are like, oh, where was that one setting? I don't remember. And you can ask Google Gemini and it can give you step-by-step -step instructions to be able to access those. So now it says there's two methods. We can use the toolbar. And it also gives us a second method using a keyboard shortcut. And as well, it also gives us additional tips and then any other support Google documents that might help us if we're still having issues. Such a cool feature there. The last thing I'm going to show you is how we can search the web directly using the Google Gemini chat pane. So we looked at it before, we can have it refine our results by going to Google search, but we also can just directly ask it to search for something. So let's say for this example, I want to add some maybe communication techniques to this blog post as well. So I'm going to say, search the web. So that's the keyword that we need to use to tell Gemini. Okay, search the web. Search the web for the top five um, business communication tactics. So I'm going to click that. And now it's going to search the web and it should give us a response that I then can either copy some parts from or add them to the document. So there we go. Now there's based on my search and there, there they are right here. And so I can come in and it also gives you resources. So these are things that it has searched and it gives you the resources where it pulled its information from. So super, super helpful when you're trying, when you're working on these things and want to add more information.